Hello and a very warm welcome back to Hughes Nursery on this beautiful October's evening. Now the clocks have just turned back but we're going to turn back to later on in the year when we were actually growing squash in hay bales and I'm going to show you in this video exactly how to do that and it's a really fun method of growing squash so I hope you enjoy. Now last year we did decide to grow in these hay bales and the results were okay but what we found is by leaving them out for a whole year they actually began to decompose and to turn into some quite nice compost on the inside so we thought it would be a perfect time to give it a go and perhaps if you want to grow in straw or hay, hay bales is to use ones which are a bit older and as you can see here they are beginning to decompose so the nutrients are more plants available for plants that you're going to be planting so we chose squash and we have a bit of space next to our summer house where we can plant some squash and with the idea of them trailing along the ground to try and use up the space effectively so we've got two varieties we've got tondo di piacenza and also yellow or gold rush now these are two courgette or zucchini varieties and the uh, the tondo variety is actually a round shape which is great so to plant them all you need to do is to add a shovel of compost just to give them an extra boost give them a lot of water and they'll be set and as you can see they settle in very happily and the great thing about growing in straw or hay bales is the fact that they are really good at retaining moisture so specifically if you are in a really hot or dry country then growing in these are a great way to try and hold in moisture now the main thing to do as you can see here you can see that the weeds and the grass is beginning to grow over so what you need to do is just to make sure that you give it a good cut and then cover it uh, cover the ground which the squash are growing over with some straw or some hay and this is just going to act as a mulch and also mulch for next year if you want to plant anything there it's almost like kind of a sheep mulch but the main reason why you want to mulch is to protect and suppress the grass underneath and it also acts as a really nice way to look after the fruits which are growing so here's just an another example just be quite um just be quite liberal with it if you want to it just depends completely on how much straw or hay you want and if you want to get straw or hay for less then it's great to look at equestrian centers or also if you know anyone who has a farm i'm sure they might have a couple of spare bales that they won't mind you having so as you can see the trailing varieties are growing really nicely now these were actually west facing but we did get quite a bit of sun and we can see we added some nasturtium just to attract some more beneficial insects into our garden and here they actually reached growing up our summer house which was really good and we were really pleased with the results and here's just an example of one of the fruits which were growing underneath so it was almost an experiment and here's the gold rush but it was almost an experiment to see how well they would do growing in straw bales and we were really happy with the results so I hope you found this video interesting and it may have at least given you a few ideas for the next growing season. But if you have any experience with growing food in straw or hay bales, then I'd love to hear from you what projects you have got up to. Now, if you enjoy the videos I create here for you on Hughes Nursery and you want to take your support to the next level, then you should check out my Patreon profile and become a supporter of Hughes Nursery. And here I can give you loads of fantastic rewards and it just means that I can continue to work hard and develop great content for you. Now, your extra support will allow me to learn new skills and invest in better equipment for you guys and you get a load of great rewards in return. So if this interests you, then please check out my Patreon profile and there are a couple of links either on this video or down below in the video description and I really really appreciate any of your support even from your kind comments so once again thank you so much for watching if you have any further questions or comments then don't hesitate to ask don't forget to like and also make sure you're subscribed thank you